Hello, how's it going? You beautiful, lovely, powerful creator, you. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all getting our manifestations. If you are new here, my name is Erin and I'm here to help you get your shit through all things law of assumption. Let's just jump on into this video today. The moment you choose a reality, everything is unfolding to get you there. Everything in your life starts immediately unfolding to get you there. So then why do we see opposite circumstances coming up? Why do we see evidence that makes it seem like things aren't going our way? Or why do things suddenly stop going our way and we start getting the exact opposite of what we want? We're gonna talk about this today. Your job as a manifester is to choose and persist. This is why I say to specifically, specifically say out loud your exact desire that you want. Be specific with yourself because a lot of the time we're thinking we want something but we're not even actually defining what exactly it is we want. Speak the words one time into existence and you're automatically going down that path whether it's through inspired action that you don't even realize you're doing or just these, well, any action, anything that's going on, it's, it's taking you there step by step. That being said, sometimes we do experience the opposite or maybe if you're manifesting, for an example, I always go specific person examples. I don't know why, they're just the easiest thing I think to come up with situations for. But say you're manifesting a specific person and then suddenly one day they send you a text saying that they don't wanna be with you, like this is done. Whatever you're wanting from them, they're saying the exact, exact opposite. This is when you return right then to your decision. Return to your decision of being and knowing that what you want is unfolding for you. This is just a step to you getting your desire. This is just a stepping stone. It is not our job to figure out the whens and the whats and the hows of how everything is going to come into place. It is not our job to do that. All we are meant to do is choose and persist. Choose and persist and persist and persist and persist and persist and persist. And persist. Don't get overwhelmed thinking you failed. Don't get overwhelmed thinking that it's not working and definitely do not give up. Giving up is just then choosing a different reality as a creator and then the unfolding process to that reality begins. That is why I say don't give up. Giving up is just you choosing a different path. Stick with the original path. This is why I always say when things start not really looking like it's going your way, we're not putting our hands into the 3D and meddling. We're not, you know, replying to this person and begging them to change their mind and be with us. We're not showing up at their house. We're not, we're not doing all that stuff. Return to your decision of who you want to be. You don't have to take any actions out there. I'm not telling you not to take action because you can do whatever, you can do literally whatever you want. That is your reality, that is your world. But just because we see something, it doesn't mean, we don't have to like what we see, okay? We don't have to like what we see. We don't have to choose what we're seeing. And it does not have to make sense right now. And a lot of the time, the unfolding does not make sense. <laughs> But it's not our job to sit there and dwell and try to figure it out. All you have to do is remember who you are. Not how to get there. Not when is it coming. Not what do I do to change it. What do you do? You decide and affirm. And you remember who you are. As human beings, we're always trying to make sense of things. We're always trying to approach our problems logically. In manifestation, you don't have to think logically about anything because it makes no sense as it is. That's the point. It doesn't have to make sense. It is not a logical thing. Stop trying to make sense of all of your unwanted circumstances and just keep your eye on the prize and go, 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 go. Persist, 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 persist. Give up that feeling of needing to understand everything, of needing to be in control of everything. Have the faith 
that you're gonna get what you want that's the whole premise of law of assumption is what you assume to be true must become true have the faith for it to become true if you don't have the faith you're wavering and you won't get it opposite circumstances coming up does not necessarily mean that you're not going to get it it's just whatever way the universe your higher power source your highest god self chose this way of getting you to your desire and as long as you stay focused on the desire then that is just part of the unfolding into getting you there don't delay getting your manifestation by rerouting and, and choosing something else by focusing and dwelling on the unwanted we're not chasing our desires we are choosing and believing we are knowing that we are entitled to getting everything that we want everything that we desire that is the beauty of all of this that is the will of god is to live this life of abundance it's to live this life of creation and creating and creating again and again and again we're choosing who we want to be with no evidence blindly choosing who we want to be with no evidence and we are persisting in being that version of us until it reflects around us we're not changing our reality we're not changing our circumstances we are being the reality that we want to see we are changing how we align to it we're changing our alignment to reality we're not changing reality but you have to stop being afraid and you have to stop running from every unwanted thing coming into your life because that's defeating the entire purpose take a step back accept that the circumstance is there don't even try and figure out what created it what caused it, it does not matter you say okay i see you and i don't choose you circumstance <laughs> And then just remember that it's you. You are the only one. You are the only one in the room. You are all that is. You are creation. The good, the bad. You created it all. Where creation is already finished and every possible outcome is out there for you as the creator of your reality to decide, pick and choose from what you want to see. Our only job is to experience all of those options and then choose consciously as god which ones we want to see again which ones we want to experience you've already experienced every outcome now your job is to choose which ones you want to experience again you as a creator have all these realities created and you manifest things into your life not by even knowing oh this is good this is bad like our subconscious doesn't see good and bad it just sees what we feed it for whatever reason you were feeding it this bad experience that you're seeing if you constantly are experiencing the bad things it might be worth it to actually take a step back and think okay so i did create this so i did step into this reality why what was the reason that i decided to experience this why did i want to immerse myself fully into experiencing what this bad felt like maybe you wanted to see the contrast of that bad versus what you want the good maybe you were considering leaving your sp and you needed a reason to decide whether or not you actually had love for them or not so it manifested a third party and they left so you could experience what it was like to not have them in your life. I don't know. I can't answer this for you. It's just an example. But I think it's worth thinking about why did I deep down, deep 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 down, not even consciously, want to see want to see the bad. And then we can use these circumstances as a guide to help us get our shit to help us see where we're at and then figure out how we can go about it from there figure out what we really want from there is it out there then you can have it just remember 
you are never off track to your manifestations. As long as you have clearly defined what you want and you're not wavering and you're persisting in what you want, you cannot be off track. It is all getting you there. All of your actions are enchanted. All of your words are enchanted. If it exists, you can have it. If it exists and everything exists, then it's already yours. The moment you declare it, it is yours. And the world is just taking you on a path to get it. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down low so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you can't get enough of me, I know you can't get enough of me. Okay, bye.